welcome to Bering Hill. This is the hill that overlooks Adak. You can see the main town site down there in the distance where I'm staying. And uh, here you'll find plenty of buildings that were used by the military, including former Baskin Robbins, I believe there's a movie theater here, and the historic Bering Hill Chapel, which was Adak's premier church basically back in the day. So I guess this is the newer Bering Hill Chapel right here. Oh wow, so it was actually a massive church, crazy. There's a lot of signs here saying do not enter, so this one they take very seriously. There's surveillance here. It says this facility, the Bering Hill Chapel, is the designated tsunami evacuation shelter for the community of Adak. Due to continued trespassing, breaking and entering, ransacking of emergency supplies, graciously collected and supplied by others, and the substantial damage by individuals, the facility is permanently closed until funds can be secured, if ever, to repair the damages. Thank you to those who have disrespected and damaged the facility to make it unusable when the next emergency occurs. We're sure you will not be on the island when the next event occurs. So you can see they're, they're a little bit pissed off, of course, and rightly so. By and large, most people have had no choice but to respect that, as everything is pretty substantially gained it up now so there's no way in but uh wow it does suck that the you know island tsunami shelter would be disrespected and ransacked of all its emergency supplies so pretty petty in any case heading down to the old part of Bering Hill right down here to check out the historic chapel which is one of the highlights here in Adak it's an incredible old building <laughs> So this building is hauntingly beautiful. This is the old Bering Hill Chapel. I would estimate that this building was built around the 40s or the 50s, kind of at the onset of the naval air base here in Adak. You can see the entire side of the building starting to buckle under the weight of the roof and everything is just collapsed. Like this building you would not want to enter under any circumstances. This thing could fall at any minute. You can see all of the supports on this side of the building. They're pretty well gone. Ironically though, the windows seem to be doing pretty well. There's so many windows just hanging in place. So whoever built the windows did a really good job. But as you can see, the elements have just torn this building apart. So really nothing has been spared here. Even the information panel here for the Bering Hill Chapel is completely rusted out, faded over time. All right, I'm taking a walk along the, I guess this would be the north side of it. So despite the rot and just you know, being ready to fall right over. It is a pretty beautiful building. This reminds me of that church I saw in Baker Lake last year. Wow, like <laughs> it is completely broken. I cannot believe this thing is standing, but I tell you those windows, whoever put those in deserves a raise because those are barely rotted in the slightest. So from this vantage point, you can definitely see the danger here. My goodness, this, this roof is gonna collapse, you know, within, I don't know how long, but my, look at those trusses right there. They're just bent. Like this thing probably has less than two years maximum. If that, we'll see how the winds treat this building, but crazy. Well, this is as close as I am willing to get. You can see those trusses are like absolutely broken, ready to fall. And the whole uh, side of the building here is just hanging on by a thread. But uh, you can see inside uh, some of the old pews there. Pretty incredible. Like no one's been in here for a long time. But uh, yeah, that's enough to get me running out of here pretty quickly. So I'm gonna head back over. I didn't go inside, don't worry. You gotta watch your step too. There's lots of nails here and so forth. So you can easily stab your foot. You gotta watch where you're stepping, Adak. Be really careful if you come. So it's simultaneously creepy and fascinating here. The whole place reminds me of the, some kind of a dystopian movie set. Completely abandoned town, abandoned church. Everything is just so ridiculously creepy and unsettling. But uh, it's fascinating that this is just real life 
you know, the military decides they don't need this place anymore after 1997 and it all, you know, gets left behind and forlorn. So, you know, nothing profound about it, I wouldn't say, but oh my goodness, the vibes here are screaming apocalypse. So at some point in ADAX history, they did have interpretive signs here. So there were signs, I'm assuming, explaining the relevance of these historic buildings. I'm not sure, I'm just guessing based on context, but not a soul around or very few souls around to really do anything to maintain these buildings. I mean, the cost of maintaining them would outweigh the benefits. So they are largely just left alone to rot and decay. There's not really any place to safely destroy them or dismantle them. And honestly, given the state of the world, you gotta wonder, will it be necessary to revitalize or to start up the naval air base here in ADAC once again? I guess that remains to be seen, but at least they have a, a little bit of infrastructure here. If that does happen, they can work with some of these buildings and maybe restore them. I don't know though, there's very rotted out, so they might have to start fresh. So completely gorgeous views of the mountains. It's like a fortress of rock. It's just incredible. The coastline of Adak is very much like Hawaii or um, other islands in Hawaii even. Very beautiful place. In addition to its beautiful chapel, Bering Hill hosts some of the most fascinating abandoned buildings on Adak, including the former officer's recreation center, which I was eager to explore. Huge. Uh, Iron door right here. And you can see where the old Bering Gym sign would have Oh been. yeah. It's wow. So crazy. Oh, it smells like mold, eh? Yep. Yeah. Wow. Crazy. So Huge. See some of the uh, Tlingit on Oh yeah, wow. There's more like Tlingit are they're like in Ketchikan though. Mm -hmm. Yep. So they must have had someone from here with uh, that or yeah, I think they just blew out some artists. Wow. Very cool though. It's been an excellent of yeah, wow. A gecko over there. Kind of good vibes of native art, basically, yeah. but it's not necessarily accurate. Okay. She's the only one like this. Yeah, wow. Which is interesting. So much peeling paint, though. Like, this can't be healthy, hey? No. I'll tell you. No, I mean, you wouldn't want to, yeah? This is the Bering Theater right here. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. And they did Hollywood movies right here. Wow, that is so cool. That is insane. Like this is actually almost in perfect condition. You can hear the sound. Yeah. Thing and wow. And there's not a lot of rod in this room, it looks like. No, this room, look at the, I mean, there's a spot in the ceiling yeah. there, but, but the mostly in really great condition. Yeah, there's not a ton of damage. Wow. What's this here? Oh. All these insects on the wall? Yeah. Uh, Kids area, looks like some sort. Birds, it just like random. Yeah, it looks like a daycare to but me. Yeah. I don't really know. Wow. No idea. It's like, that's another part of this is that's frustrating. It's like, you don't know what anything is because no. nothing's labeled and nothing, yeah. There's no reports you know? On it no, either. it's frustrating. Like, it's not documented. Documents? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm sure someone who's stationed here would know exactly what this is. Right. And they can tell you all stories about it, but. There are a couple Facebook groups of people who used to live here. They've asked so fascinating. Huh. We could go take pictures of old buildings and stuff. Yeah. And like, yeah, I don't think you guys want to see what kind of state they're no, in. No, I'm now. sure. Yeah, I mean, it would be so depressing. Point, yeah. This was such a beautiful This was people's place. home back in the day. Very much so. so. Just fallen by the wayside. Here. It's crazy. So this is actually a huge space, too. Yeah, wow. There's a ballet studio here. Wow. Yeah. Is there any equipment here? Or what's there's, oh, there's something there. Like a, um, apparently, it was really good to take the equipment. Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, nice Some resistance equipment. Yeah. 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 Just a few left. Wow. I don't have any idea how you would move it out of. No, <laughs> I don't know. Wow, that is crazy. But yeah, there's a few pieces left here. Yeah. And this is the Olympic-sized swimming pool right here. That is incredible. Way bigger than I thought it would be. Wow, lane dividers, wow. Like literally just frozen in time, wow. Just tossed a bunch of furniture down there while they're at it. Who knows why? No, I know, it's just weird. Maybe just for fun, throw it all in if you find a piece. Wow, that is spooky. So that's the entrance to the locker room right here. Wow, see this is actually in pretty good condition. Yeah. No one really goes in here. Yeah. 
Oh wow, the showers are in good condition, more or less. Wow, this is actually probably the best room I've seen on the island in terms yeah. of not being broken apart. And then people have trashed this room quite a bit. Smashed. Yeah, the smashed the toilets. People are weird creatures, eh? Hey? My yeah. goodness. Lockers. Wow. <laughs> so cool. And they were just saying that uh, the pool was actually used up until the, the early 2000s. So even after they pulled out of here in 97, this place still, you know, was kicking for a while at least until it turned into this. So this is the old Baskin Robbins I was looking for yesterday. There's so much glass on the floor, you gotta be really careful. But uh, all the little refrigerators here for the, or the freezers I should say, for the ice cream. But this was a thriving ice cream shop right here by the movie theater and everything back in the day. It's got some Looney Tunes characters. Wow. All right, it's so a little restaurant here. You got more booths. A lot of restaurant seating, actually. This was a big place. And uh, here's the kitchen. So some menu here. Pizza, pasta, beverages. Very cool, just frozen in time. So there's like takeout containers, like all over the floor here. So when they, when they say they haven't cleaned it up here, they really mean it. It's pretty much in the same state that it was. And a little takeout window right here as well. And a random otter here on the wall. I don't know what the story of that is, just local art, I guess, was big here. Destroyed door, like that's something else. Just random furniture, tons of books in print, basically. Master reference to titles, authors, and publishers, 93, 94. A lot of these kind of compendiums all over the floor here. Whole oh, display case just destroyed. Wow, old computer. Tons of destroyed furniture. Oh, bathroom. Bathroom seen better days as well. Bird feather, pretty crazy. Some old articles basically from like 1990 for this one. Just random stuff scattered everywhere here on the floor. So you never know what you're gonna come across in these old buildings. Mm -hmm. 